What's going on, Bully Fam? It's your boy, Mr. Double Muscle Line Bulls, bringing you another episode of Breeders Hacks. Jimmy on a beat, boy. What's going on, guys? Today, um, I wanted to talk on something that's actually really important. This can actually save your dog's life. Um, what happens is, you know, owning dogs, um, they, they get into everything, you know? So they can get into poisons, toxins, cleaning products, and um, if they swallow it, it can be fatal. So I wanted to talk about something today that um, if you know this information, can literally save a dog's life. So when a dog swallows, you know, a cleaning product or anything for that matter, um, you're gonna wanna act extremely fast on it. But usually the effects of chemicals take time to be digested. If you can act fast enough, you usually get a better result and are able to save your dog. Um, the longer you wait, the more fatal it can possibly be. So one of the things I need to just say before we get started is, and, and I need to say this more on the channel, is I'm, I'm not a vet. So I'm a breeder that has been breeding for a very long time and I'm pretty knowledgeable, but I'm not a vet. So definitely anything I say, you should consult with your vet and, and get their opinion. So I can't guarantee anything, but I just try my best to help you guys out. So in the case of an emergency where, you know, um, the dog has swallowed something and, and you know that the dog swallowed something, you're gonna act right away on it. The first thing that you should do is probably contact your vet. You know, um, they could probably give you some strong medication that will help the dog um, induce vomiting, things like that. But because of what's going on in the world and things like that, a lot of vet offices are closed. Um, so what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is like I said, contact your vet. Um, if they don't answer you, if you can't get to a vet, then you can contact the CDC. They have a poison, poison and control number and um, it's not just good for humans, it's also good for animals and dogs. So um, you can contact them and it's a free 24 hour hotline and they'll actually be able to you know, talk you through whatever it is and, and, and as long as you know what the dog has swallowed, they should be able to help you out. So let's just say you couldn't get in touch with your vet. Let's say you tried to contact the CDC and you had no luck. Um, your, next, your, your next course of action would be, um, is what I'm gonna show you right now. And be mindful, um, you need to do it relatively quick, soon and early. Because the faster you do this, what I'm about to show you, um, the more likely it is to work. The longer you wait, um, the more fatal it can be. And if you do nothing at all, then it's gonna be extremely fatal to your dog. And then you can end up with unfortunately losing your dog. And that's not what we want. So the next course of action would be is what I'm gonna show you right now, right? What we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna induce vomiting. We're gonna want the, we're gonna, we're gonna want the dog to spit up whatever it is and throw up whatever it is that they swallowed so they can't digest it and it can't hurt them. So there's five things that you need to be mindful of before you induce vomiting though. And the five things are making sure that it's not a sharp object because it can potentially hurt the dog um, on its way out when the dog is vomiting. You don't want that. The second thing is you're not gonna wanna make the dog vomit if the dog is already vomiting. The third thing is you're not gonna wanna make the dog vomit if the dog is unconscious. The fourth thing is you're not gonna wanna make the dog vomit if the dog is having a hard time breathing. And the fifth thing you wanna do is if the product says on the label, if you happen to know what the product was and, and, and you can see the label, is you wanna see, does it say on the label, do not induce vomiting if swallowed? If your scenario doesn't meet any of those requirements, then I would say go ahead and quickly induce vomiting for the dog and make sure that the dog, you get out whatever it is that the dog just swallowed. So what you're gonna to wanna to use is 3% hydrogen peroxide. You could buy this at dollar store, CVS, um, any of those places really, Walmart. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is give one teaspoon for every 10 pounds of weight. And you can give it to the dog in a syringe. Um, some dogs will just drink it up. And what you wanna make sure is if the dog doesn't throw up whatever it was that you needed the dog to throw up, you can do it again within 15 to 20 minutes. And um, you can do that up to three times within one hour. And then what I've been learning that a lot of vets would recommend um, in conjunction or separately, um, which I would honestly do both, is you can actually also give activated charcoal. Um, you can buy it, um, there's plenty of places that sell it, Walmart, um, you can get it probably on Amazon. And what you're gonna wanna give is five grams for every 10 pounds of weight. So whether it's in capsule form or whether it's in powder form, um, you're gonna just make sure that you give five grams. And um, what that'll do is actually bind up all the toxins in the dog's uh, stomach and gut. And um, the dog will wind up just pooping it out. So that's the activated charcoal. Um, 
So those are the two things. So if you act very fast, you should be able to save a dog's life with this information. So I hope this information was helpful. I hope this information helped save a dog's life. And um, if you thought this information was helpful, you know, make sure to share it with someone, like, comment, um, and make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next episode of Breeders Hacks.